is that? Eggplant roll. Really no? hot, yeah. Oh, don't worry, thank you. Um, and these are stuffed with? Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. That doesn't look very appetizing, does it? Yes. Crunchy eggplant, undercooked. The eggplant's raw. That's why it's gone so black. Take that back, because it's like piled in grease. But no problem. Eggplant shouldn't be crunchy. And... Oh, dear. This is the Ahi Tower appetizer. Thank you. Ah, oh, dear. I feel like there's a firework display taking place on my plate. Rocket man. Something's wrong. I can tell on his face. It's so compressed, it feels like it's been done two days ago. I tuna. That tuna doesn't taste fresh. It's grainy and it's furry. Here, you've been sat there watching me. Come on. Hey, come on. No, no, come on. I thought he was gonna like some of our food. I know. That's just gross. Oh, did you like? No, I didn't. Is, is it? Is it frozen tuna? No, it's fresh tuna. Is it? Yeah. I'll bypass and go to the next one. Okay. Thank you, though. Funny how an owner's not even in the kitchen. He's in one mistake, two mistakes. She's just standing there, hanging out and chilling out. It's driving me crazy. Here's the bad news. So far, not a slim ray of sunshine, not even a glimmer of hope anywhere in the food. Chicken, tortellini, pasta salad. Excellent. Good. Now, is that home cooked? Those are not homemade. Ah, thanks. Is that in there? It tastes like rubber. That is hideous. Oh. Yeah, not very pleasant. No, I mean, that's just stone cold. I'm sorry. Yeah, ask Lisa to taste the tortellini, just the, the vegetarian part. All right. Honestly. I still think it tastes good. Everything vegetarian, at least, I've tried, I love. So I think our food tastes great to me. It really does. This is a chicken piccata. It's a lemon with capers and mushrooms. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. How do you like this one? Dreadful. No? Chicken's all floury, slimy. OK. Come over, Nina. So I just had to Megan. Let's just, if you just touch, touch that, it's all easy. I, I, I'm not going to touch it with my finger. No, it's all, what I'm trying to say is all soggy and flowery, so it's... Well, I mean, I'll do something like that in the kitchen, but not in the dining area. That wouldn't be appropriate. Well, I wouldn't touch food. Listen, listen. You're sitting on a table full of gum. I've got cobwebs coming out of my earlobes, and now I'm asking you to touch something flowery. And you say, I wouldn't do this in the dining room. All of a sudden, you've got this level of concern. Yes, I do, because you... that's food. Right there, and you want me to touch it. This is food that you've given 10 out what am of 10. I to, what am I supposed to I want you to be honest with yourself and stop fucking around. I'm not fucking do. around. Ready to get real. The chicken is slimy and furry. It's got raw flour on the outside. You refuse to accept it because you're in the land of nod. <laughs> Chef Ramsay is sounding like an ass. Oh, and that's my one meatball. This is your one meatball. I said, thank you. That tastes 54 years old. Mush, disgusting, and just <laughs> dreadful. Nino, come on. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad. The meatball, soggy, bland, and just hideous, with a salty marinara sauce. It's a matter of taste. Say that again? It's a matter of taste. That's not a matter of taste. When was that made? Two days ago. Really? I saw him make it. Right. Can you have a word with the chef? I know you're scared of them, but ask I'm him. I'm not scared of them, and I'm not scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? I'm not a, I'm not a person that's scared, so don't use that word, please. I ask oh, you to step today. up, take some form of responsibility, and go in there and ask him. So, are you going to let me continue eat, or do you want to? What do you want to fight? Like confrontation? If we're talking about something physical. Can you, no. Can you leave me alone? Let me finish my lunch. Yes, I will. And if you find the balls to go and ask your chef when he made the meatballs, it'd be greatly appreciative. By the way, there's dirty bottles above the fish tank. <sighs> thank you. And this is the... Uh... This is the eggplant? Wow, thank you very much. You're good. He made them this weekend, on Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. 
we've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No, <laughs> I'm not. Bullshitting me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working there eight hours a day cleaning. Telling me that food is great, people love it. I am shitting myself. And the then chef, you need to wear diapers. The, you shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you just trying to act like a fucking idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better? I'm not a fucking idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You use the word fucking, yeah, so I brought it I back just, to you. Okay. I think that's, right. that's kind of gross. We need to calm right. down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it. And I'm, I'm staring at it as well. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Colour. Jesus, it's like somebody's dropped sliced onions into boiling dishwater. Dreadful. How's the French onion? Yeah, off to a bad start, unfortunately. It's like someone's pissed in my soup. Well, that's so, not good. Yeah. We'll take this away. That was dreadful. All right, chef. Thank you. Shepherd's pie. Wow, that's a very bizarre looking shepherd's pie. Someone put gravy on top of my crispy mash? Yes. That is a shocker. Like, someone's snot all over my mash. Yeah. And that gravy is made from... Beef. Beef stock on a shepherd's yes. pie. And shepherd's pie is made out of... This one is actually beef. So it's a cottage so... pie, not a shepherd's pie. Because shepherd stands for the... Sheep. Sheep. I'll be back to check on you. Cold congealed gravy. It's like glue. So how are we doing? Taste that for me. Ouch. Yeah. It's gross. And it's not hot either. That's partly the reason why they're not coming back. It's just watery. Damn. There was two strikes right away. And I was fairly confident that he would like one of them, at least. You're right? Fine. Guess good. Damn. A hot potato soup. Hot potato soup. Thank you. You are. He's thick. He looks a mess. That is a mess. Oh my gosh, we just made the most fucking god awful face. Holy mackerel. Mm. Like lumps of glue. What a fucking embarrassment. Fuck. How's the soup there for you? Uh, yum. Yeah. It's like it's been made out of leftover mashed potatoes. Are you fresh every day? They make it probably every other day. Every other day. Definitely not today. It's just crazy. Crazy. Thank you, Brian. Beautiful sunny day outside and <laughs> thick, rich, bland stodge on the inside. What a shame. OK. These mm -hmm. are your ranch and bacon potatoes. OK, great. Thank you. Right, hot potato cafe, baked potatoes. If these are the frozen ones. They're the frozen ones. God, they taste dreadful. When were they baked? Probably about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? I know it may sound like a stupid question. If they were baked three weeks ago, where's the filling gone? We use the filling for the mashed potatoes. So my potatoes have been sold already? Yes. This restaurant's called Hot Potato Cafe. It is. Yeah, and you just served me three-week-old frozen potato skins that have no potato inside. I feel like a, I'm a potato organ donor. How strange. <laughs> no, you laugh. I'm glad you find it funny, because I don't. I'm sorry. I know. I don't want you to be sorry. I'd be fucking embarrassed if I had to serve that. <sighs> anyway, next. Okay. All right. I'm going to go kill myself in a kitchen. And we have the shepherd's pie. Size that portion. Mm. I got two thirds mash and one third of greasy minced lamb. That's not the shepherd's pie I know. I'd like them to taste that. Because each and every one of those owners need to know what kind of shit has been served. You got it. My God. He wants all three of you to taste the shit that you serve people. All right, give me a spoon. That's like something you get in the cafeteria at college. It does suck. It was like, hello. I think maybe I have, like, the palate of a five-year-old or something.